Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. A few days ago I posted how I printed a large bridge. And this had, all, yeah, it had everything to do with Joe's telling, uh, Joe Telling's post, where he printed a bridge that was very long and well, I wanted to know if my DaVinci Pro was capable of doing that also. Then after this post, uh, a few other people with DaVinci Pro printers were asking me uh, if it was possible for them too to print these large bridges. And they wanted to know what my slicer settings were. Well, first of all, I'm using Simplify 3D as a slicer. So there are more settings that I can set in this slicer than you can if you have, uh, for example, XYZ Wear 4 Pro. Second of all, in my printer there is a cooling fan installed and uh, this cooling fan makes it possible for me to cool down the filament as soon as it oozed, oozed out from the nozzle. So if you don't have that cooling fan, well forget that you can print this large bridges. So uh, if you want to know everything about the cooling fan I have on my system, it's the double fan duct, uh, the double cooling fan fan duct. It's on my Thingiverse page and you can find it in the description down below. Now let's go to Simplify 3D and here you can see I've got my settings and I don't think this first page is very interesting. Um, my extrusion multiplier is at 0 0.90 and uh, well th this is just a setting for my printer. Uh, my nozzle diameter is uh, 0 0.40, that's the diameter of my nozzle. And uh, the retraction distance is 6 millimeters, and I think this is a great retraction distance if you have a stock uh, extruder installed and, and a stock uh, hot end. Now let's go to the layer settings. I have a, a layer height uh, of 0 0.2 millimeters, and four top layers, three bottom layers, and only two shell layers. And this is more than enough. Uh, we don't want to know anything about the top, the bottom and, and so on. We just want to make the bridge. Uh, what I have here, the only thing of importance is the first layer speed. Because this makes it happen that uh, the, the bridge will uh, glue to the bed. Now to the additions, there are no additions. Uh, completely none. To the infill, there is a 10% infill as you can see here as well. And I use a full honeycomb uh, infill. Well, this doesn't matter that much as well. Support, of course, there is no support because it's a bridge. Uh, and then the temperature settings. Well, my primary extruder for this PLA, and I'm very precise always when, uh, when it comes to temperatures. Uh, this temperature for this PLA has to be 205 degrees Celsius when I'm using my cooling system. Without the cooling system it would be uh, 195 uh, and I have to go 10 degrees up when I'm using my cooling system. Then for the heated bed here I got 45 degrees so my heated bed is uh, heated up to 45 degrees and this makes it just a little bit more sticky when I'm working with Biltec, because on my printer I have a Biltec surface. Then this tab, it's the cooling tab, but actually in the DaVinci Pro printer it isn't doing that much. <coughs> Here it says that uh, on the first layer the fan speed will be zero, and on the second it will be turned on. Well, believe me, this won't work in your DaVinci. Um, it will be constant on, and uh, for my print I've chosen to build my, uh, my own uh, cooling fan duct inside and that's also always on. So uh, I can choose uh, with a switch to turn it on or turn it off and for this bridging test I had to turn it on. If you don't have this cooling system I doubt if you can make a large bridge like this one. So uh, then we go back to the uh, FFF settings. I don't do anything with my G-code. Um, I don't do anything with it. Uh, I just pointed it out here, but that's all. Uh, to the script here, also I don't do anything. And 
uh, here at the other step my speeds are at 60 millimeters a second this is not because I want to be in a hurry or whatever it's just because I wanted the same settings as Joel Telling used so normally I'm printing at 40 uh, millimeters a second but for this test I wanted to use the same settings Joel Telling used for his print and therefore I go to uh, 16 millimeters a second my outline underspeed is 60% of that, my solid infill underspeed is 90% of it and my support structure underspeed is 80% of it so here I had to change a little bit from the settings Joel used because my printer just isn't that fast then uh, the filament properties, well it's 1.05 mm uh, in, in uh, diameter uh, the price is 22 uh, euros a kilogram and the filament density is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter then for the bridging this is the important part my unsupported area threshold is 50 uh, millimeters per square millimeter so uh, this is a important setting the extra inflation distance is zero uh, the bridging extrusion multiplier is 100 percent so there is a normal extrusion and the bridging speed multiplier is set at 100% uh, and then again there is a normal speed would I be printing this uh, for quality then I would have used here 40 millimeters a second for my default printing speed all my speeds would be uh, in percentage of that 40 millimeters a second and here I would have chosen uh, to go for the bridging speed multiplier to 150% because I think that uh, making a bridge at 60 millimeters a second is a great bridge so I'm uh, normally going a little bit faster for the bridges and a little bit slower for the normal print and then in the advanced tab uh, nothing is set here sometimes I do things with uh, start and stop heights but in this uh, particular case I didn't do anything with it so those are my settings and with those settings you should be able to make this bridge yourself if you have a part cooling if you don't have a part cooling then chances are that it won't succeed but what you can do to have a part cooling is just take a simple blower like uh, when, when you're well when you're in the summer and you have a fresh blower that blows the wind in your your hair or whatever I don't have hair uh, open your door or maybe open the side panels and just blow fresh air through your printer uh, it might be enough or it might not be so well I really don't know you can try uh, I used my part cooling system and that proves to work for this print so those were my settings I hope uh, I answered the questions of a lot of people who are asking me how I did this and uh, well this is how I did it so thanks for watching and bye bye